Hello guys, so today I'm gonna read you the description of a flamboyant natural body type from Davy Kibbe's book Metamorphosis from the 80s. Note, the following information should be taken as a broad outline of what makes a flamboyant natural. It is the overall combination of the strong yang with blunt edges, bold, strong physicality combined with a free spirit. That creates this image identity category. Therefore, a slight deviation here or there is always possible and should not be worried over if it does not upset your yin-yang balance. Height. Normally moderate to very tall, usually 5 feet 5 inches and over. Bone structure. Large and angular with blunt edges. Broad and square bones. Wide shoulders. Long arms and legs. Large hands and feet, usually somewhat wide, but they may also be narrow with long fingers and toes. Broad or prominent facial contours. Nose, cheeks and jaw are normally blunt, not sharp. Body type. Straight and angular, broad, not sharp. Arms and legs tend towards musculature. Bust and hips tend to be flat or straight, unless very overweight. Facial features. Broad, blunt and open. Eyes may be very large and open or very straight and small. Lips will be straight and slightly thin. Cheeks will usually be taut unless overweight. Hair tends toward extreme textures, either very straight and fine or very thick and coarsely wavy or curly. Coloring. Any coloring is possible, warm or cool, high contrast or blended. Although flamboyant naturals tend to have skin that either freckles or suntans quite easily. If overweight, body tends to become square and stocky and the face becomes fleshy and puffy. Extreme excess weight will collect primarily from the waist down. A flamboyant natural will normally not have a voluptuous body type with a curvy bust and hip line, have an hourglass figure, have delicate facial features with small or sharp bones, have exotic facial features, be extremely petite, be symmetrical in body type, bone structure or facial features, have a sharp or extremely narrow bone structure. Now I'm going to read you several basic recommendations for this type. You will definitely want to read both the natural and dramatic sections of this book, and you will find yourself identifying at times with elements of each. However, please remember, you are not an equal combination of the two categories. Always bear in mind that you are in natural first and foremost. Your dramatic undercurrent should always be used as an afterthought to further spice up and add bold strokes to your appearance. It is not a substitution. It is an addition to express that extra bit of yang present in your being. To express your strong yang with blunt edges total essence, we want to develop an appearance that could best be described as free spirit chic. Shape is best when it's long, unconstructed and loose. Elongated vertical line with strong shoulders as the basis of your ensemble. Artfully mixing textures is especially effective. Bold shapes with sweeping lines. Shoulder emphasis. Easy necklines. Bold prints. You might not look as good in all severe geometrics, in overly ornate shapes, in smooth, sleek styles, in cropped small shapes. Silhouette. Your silhouette is boldly unconstructed, composed of oversized and irregular geometric shapes with soft edges, not sharp. Lines are relaxed and sweeping, always executed in bold strokes, with an emphasis on the strongly vertical and strongly horizontal. Stiff tailoring and severe lines should be left by the wayside, for they will be extremely cold and stark on you, totally out of keeping with your warmth and openness. They will also make you appear awkward and gawky, for you have too much broadness to be successfully encompassed by sleek and narrow clothing. Detail. Detail is best when it's plain and simple. Nothing fuzzy or overdone would be in keeping with your natural sensibilities. Loose and uncluttered necklines, boat necks, large cowls, deep Vs, etc. And simple labels, cuffs and hemlines are the foundation of your look. Shoulders will always be broad, although here again they should not be sharp. Necklines should be loose and open, always unconfined. Boat necks, camisoles, simple slashes, oversized cowls, open notched collars, etc. Waist should be be elongated. A dropped waist does this best, although a bloused over effect at the waist is also possible. Be very careful with waist emphasis. It is rarely helpful to you, even if your waist is small, because it destroys the strong vertical line that is 
the core of your silhouette. Gathers, folds, sashes, etc. should be ultra deep and long, asymmetrical in shape and low on the body, preferably from the hips down. Pleats should be soft, low and deep, inverted or kick style, or stitched down through the midsection. Trim should be bold, oversized and asymmetrical or clean and minimal. You might not look as good in sharp tailored detail, in severe geometric detail, in small symmetrical detail, in ornate intricate detail, in animated cute detail, perky and crisp. All right, that's it. Subscribe to my channel so not to miss the full recommendations for the whole wardrobe for Flamboyant Natural. Thank you. Bye.